Hi everyone, in this video I'll explain how to make your own custom levels for Neo Golf and how to add your levels to the actual game. To get started, you'll have to download three things. Um, the links for these are in the description below. Number one, Discord. Please download Discord and join our Discord server so that you can talk with other map makers and submit your level. Secondly, please download Blender, which is a 3D editing software. And then finally, download our example map, also with the link in the description below. When you open the example Blender file, you will be greeted with this screen. And um, you will notice that there's many different um, buttons and things everywhere, but the good news is that you don't have to know a lot of these things. So let's start with the basics. Um, first of all, there's two different tabs, the Layout tab and the Scripting tab. On the top, you'll see these two buttons. Now, the Layout tab is used for designing the level, so you can add different um, objects and um, do different things like that. Um, on the Scripting tab, you can actually run the program and test out the level. So on the Scripting tab, um, on the top right corner, you'll see this um, Run button. If you don't see the Run button, try scrolling on the top and you'll find it. Um, click Run, and you'll get this link on the bottom left corner. Uh, copy this link, and go, go ahead to um, your browser and then run it. So as you can see, I've written the link in my uh, browser, and I can test out the game. Um, one thing to note, the lines on the, on the sides, uh, these lines, um, it's actually like a box. You can see um, it shows like how much of the screen your uh, Chrome extension players can see because the Chrome extension has a smaller window size. Now that we have tested the map, let's go ahead and change the map a little bit. Um, go to the Layout tab on the top left, and then um, look at the, these controls here. So there's this hand, hand icon. Um, if you drag on this, you can move the camera. Um, now the magnifying glass, you can drag this up and down to zoom in and out. And finally, there's this little like thing here. Um, if you if you drag on this, you can um, turn it around. Like even though it's like a 2D game, you can actually look at it from a 3D perspective. Um, however, to go back to a 2D perspective, just go to um, this red blob here. Um, click on the X. X, uh, the red button. Uh, click on the X and you will snap back into 2D view. Add a new object to the scene. Uh, go ahead to add. Click on add. Um, hover over mesh and then click on cube. This will create a cube in the middle of your screen and you can move the position of it by dragging along these arrows. Um, but if you want to turn around, the, if you want to turn the cube around, you can click on um, the rotate tool on the left and turn it around the red axis. Um, now to ch change the size, um, go to the scale tool on the left and you can drag the these lines to increase or decrease the size of the cube. Another type of object that you can add is a cone. Go to add a mesh and then cone. Um, so the cone, the cone will kill you when you touch it. So um, you can move it around in the same way as the uh, as the cube. You can also turn it around, and you can also change the size. Um, another thing you can add is a sphere, um, but be careful because because um, I'll show you. So if you go to add, and then mesh, you'll see that there's a circle. UV sphere and icosphere. Now, for, with all of these options to choose from, um, you have to be careful to um, choose the right one. So, um, click on the icosphere. So, the icosphere will be an actual sphere, which you can actually touch in the game. Um, however, if you go to add a mesh and then UV sphere, this will actually be the ending sphere. Um, but there can only be one of it. And as you can see, there's already a UV sphere in your scene. So you, can't have to, you cannot have two endings, so you'll have to delete one of it. So let's go ahead and delete one of the UV spheres, because there can only be one ending. Um, click it to select it, and then um, press X on your keyboard, and then click Delete. And this will get rid of the object. 
Um, you can also use uh, the same method for deleting any other object in your scene. So you can click on this cone if you want to delete it, um, press X and then delete. Um, another thing you can do, by the way, is if you want to um, duplicate an object, you don't have to go to add a mesh and then cube. You can actually just um, um, control C and control V, just like copy and pasting it. Um, let's move this a little bit closer to the left, turn it around, um, move it down a little bit. Uh, let's move this cube a little bit to the left. Um, let's add this um, ending sphere a bit to the right. Um, let's duplicate this. Just um, command control C, control V, so that you have to jump over this gap. Let's also try moving this um, sphere a little bit here. Okay, now let's say that this map is ready and you're happy with it. Then just go to scripting tab um, on the top, as you can see, and then click run. And as you can see, this generates a new link. Um, so copy and paste this into your um, browser. And congratulations, you are now playing your own level. Um, if you are happy with this level, you can head over to the Discord server and submit the link to this level. Um, otherwise, if you want to change something, then you can go back to Blender and edit your map and then get a new link. Um, and that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Um, in the next tutorial, I'll explain to you how to change the color of the block, how to make the block move or rotate in the game, and um, how to add really cool features. So um, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.